Good day, folks. This is Omar Hosea Seven saying, "Good, you know, how y'all doing?" The Heavenly Father, I say thank you for a wonderful day. I thank you for waking me up. I thank you for letting me go through misery so I can find peace and joy throughout the day. Father, we ask that you would give us the grant us the permission, the wisdom, and the knowledge, and the words, and the proper way to put this out, Father, to your children, and to the enemies of your children, and to the enemies of you, and to the enemies of the truth, that they may come together with the truth and have a chance to change their ways and change their minds, at least research, and that you may be glorified in all things. For you are the author of all things. You are the author of life and death. You are the author of good and evil. You are the, the master of all masters. I so just ask for your permission to do this video and I pray that um, you're pleased with me. In Emmanuel's name I only ask and pray by the Holy Paul and uh, part of the Holy Spirit that I come and blessings to the prophets before me and after me. Say love. Good day folks. Uh once again. Ooh. Uh that left ear beat been itching pretty good lately. It was the opposite for me. <coughs> but anyway, we won't really get to the get to the root of this. Get my medication on, so you can go ahead and judge me all you want to. But one thing you'll never find me doing is putting the truth before anything outside of me. You'll never find me putting the truth uh anything before outside of me before the truth. Um so cause when any substance Gadgets, animals, relationships with people, materials, and things like that. If it's going to stop you from telling the truth, then you might want to put it down. Or, well, you can't kill yourself because the most highly determines who lives or die. Been there, done that. So, I'll get to the point of this video. Uh, brother had mentioned, good, good brothers, he had mentioned about Paul writing, um, uh, the New Testament and things like that nature and uh, how he walked with Rome and so we came uh, we came to his support and proved that Paul and Josephus worked for Rome Josephus with which is uh, his Roman name was Josephus Flavius Titus Flavius Vesperian Flavius Flavian uh, Christian Empire, Pope Clemente from the Flavius dynasty, who was their family members. You get it? And even in scriptures in Romans, Paul says, Am I not a Hebrew? But yet, you're a Hebrew who loves Roman high places. You love Roman rewards. You say, Well, how can you equate that? Well, we know that Josephus uh, was his father, was Matthias, who was a Maccabean revolutionary. So think about this. You got Paul and you had the son of a revolutionary in the house of the emperor. Now, and I'm so glad I'm, I'm not there or I don't want to be a part of it. But can you imagine being in the house of your enemy? And you know the truth and you see your people suffering, but because you're scared to die, you rather see your people die. Now I'm not saying that when Paul and Josephus wrote these things, they played both ends to the middle. Because <coughs> I've done that before. And I may be guilty of that now, but not for any wars or high places or to sell my people out or to sell my soul out either. First and foremost, I mean, I'm not going to sell my soul. But that is, that is possible that they play both sides to the middle. But as you really start to research Josephus, and you really start to jo research Paul, it's the, the Emmanuel, whom they call Christ, it was written that he came for his people, Israel, Hebrews only. And it's written in the Torah, if the people around you are willing to follow you back to the Most High. If people around you are willing to study and practice the Torah and love the Most High according to the will of the Most High, then they're welcome. But Paul's letters didn't per se say that. Josephus' writings 
didn't say that. And pretty much in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 12, it says, do not add anything to it. So obviously, uh, the Romans, when they started burning books, and, and, and the missionaries started burning books, they read that too, don't add anything to this book. And so they said, you know what, screw this book, throw it in the fire, and start writing stuff in there. That's pure logic, and that's definitely that's possible. And I believe they did, actually they did that. That's why we get Palestinian Jews and not the original. So we know that they read it and rearranged it because there's a phrase called Flavian typology. And there's a phrase before that came out was Hebrew typology. And so when typology in this definition says without historical reference. So you have to go to the original source to get the reference of that which that person is speaking to. So unfortunately, Emmanuel has went somewhere else and passed on. The original 12 disciples that was with the Christ, with the Messiah had passed on. So there's no reference point unless you actually talk to their children and their mothers and their brothers who are Hebrew Israelites. That sellout. Same thing with Josephus. If you read the manuscripts of his, of his father, Matthias, and Judas of the Maccabeans, which is the people of Hammer, then you can get the historical research to the typology that's being used by Josephus. And then you get the historical research of the typology that's being used by Paul. Because these are two educated men through what? Rome. And the words and the, and, the, and the Greek writings. And they gave it to the Greeks and they did the typology. So, when you, when you listen, when you put that in perspective and you read the New Testament over again, and in, in Titus, he says, in the book of Titus, Paul says, to my son, Titus. Now, if he doesn't work for Rome, if Paul is not a good, good friend of Rome, do he not think the emperor would chop his head off for calling the son of an emperor my, his son? And he's a follower of the Messiah? And they come to kill, rob, and destroy Israel and all of Jerusalem because it's written in their walls that they took the, the, the candlesticks and all the vestments and tore down the temples. Man, they don't have me like my medication. See, folks is high on lies and vainglory and then think we're getting high. This is medication just like the truth. So we're going to hit you, we're going to cut you, cut your lies, and then we're going to heal you with the truth, that two-edged sword thing. So, remember that last video I said, you can beat me with the, with, the, uh, with the problem, but make sure you have some medication or something to heal me with after you get done on that. Because people are not nice people when you've beaten them and beaten them, and you have nothing to, for them to heal off of. So, when you, when you meditate on that, you're like, wow, uh, that makes sense because there's another scripture where it says what Peter what Paul says I am the apostle of Christ Jesus Christ when we look at the typology that means there's no historical reference to Jesus but there's no J and so it didn't mention Yahshua because all the writers doesn't mention Yahshua and when you get the Quran it says Isis so it still goes back to Jesus salvation that's not what the boy's name meant it meant God's with us. So we got that typology. But he says, I am a part of, I mean, I am an apostle. But who made him an apostle? None of the disciples. And in fact, him and Peter get into many debates about him proclaiming himself being an apostle because nobody said he they wanted him as nobody said that he was apostle worthy. Because they knew when he explained himself that am I not a Hebrew? Well, yeah, ain't these NCs and Sadducees Hebrews? And they sold out for Rome, too. Does not make you, because you're a Hebrew Israelite or NC or Pharisees or Israelite, that you are a follower of the Messiah or the Torah. They don't. And I'm talking to me, I'm talking about myself, too, really. You know, so I got to look at myself before I can say anything to you and get on this thing and, and, and try to uh, add some correction. Not because I think it should be, because... It's been told to me to, 
to correct my, my, my behavior. And so this is how we, we correct each other's behavior in love and righteousness. So um, don't take this personal, whoever you may be, whether you're Christian or not Christian, Jew, or this, this, it's, it's not even about that. It's really about the universal harmony and the laws and the statutes, the commandments and the precepts and the charges of the Most High. That is for all humanity. So now, when we look at this one scripture and Titus again, now, once again, the Messiah told the disciples to go through all the land by twos, make you some apostles, and go to the lost tribes of Israel that are scattered across the world. He didn't say go to all the pagans and all that and try to convert them. He said go to the lost tribes of Israel. Now, I'm going to run you some names off here. And once again, this is in Titus uh, chapter 2. I think this is Titus chapter 3, verse 8 through 12. You get Artemis. That's not a Hebrew name. He's not even Hebrew. You get Titus. T-Y-C-H-I-C-U-S. Not a Hebrew. You get Zenus. As in Zeno. Even though he's Asiatic and Asian descent, colored, colored man. He's not Hebrew. You got Apollos, as in Apollyon. Obviously, that's Greek. He's not Hebrew. Why is Paul calling these men soldiers of soldiers in, of Jesus Christ and soldiers of this and this and that? When the, the Messiah told all the disciples, all the apostles, to go to the lost tribe of Israel. And if these men are willing to follow the ways of the Torah and the ways of the written scriptures of the beginning, then they were welcome. But obviously, because I wrote them down, they weren't welcome. Because why? They went to a place called Nicopolis. And that's where there was a victory where they killed Octavia and uh, Cleopatra. And you know Cleopatra was from Egypt. And Octavian loved Cleopatra. And Cleopatra liked Octavian. So she can save Egypt from Roman influence. That is factual history, folks. So I just want to give you a quick recap for those who's not sure or uh, uh, wondering what we were talking about or typing on Facebook and, and G+. But now you got it in live, you got it in video. And like I said, we gave you the references. You can look it up. Look up Hebrew typology, uh, 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 biblical typologies, ancient typologies. Uh, add a word, any word to typology and watch what happens. Quran typology, watch what happens. Aramaic typology, watch what happens. Dear Father, we thank you for your wisdom and your guidance. We thank you for your permission to speak. We pray that somebody heard this and they would grow from this and teach one and reach one, Father, that you may be glorified in the light, in the dark, from the left to the right, to the ups and the downs in all ways. Till next time, we love you. If this doesn't make sense, let us know and we'll, but if it makes sense, tell the truth. Peace.